Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, your voice, Marie. It's oh, very, thank you. It's very uh, deep. What's, what are we doing? Barry White tonight? No, I just, you know, I think uh, the older I get, just the sexier everything about me becomes. <laughs> anyway, this is an unofficial expert podcast with Sydney and Marie. Oh, my goodness. We're having such a great morning or day or whatever, whatever time it is. Whatever time you're listening to this mm-hmm. uh, evening, it's a great, the moon is out. Uh, it's a <laughs> red it? moon tonight. Can you see the moon in Brooklyn? Shut up, Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. I'm having a rough time. Mm-hmm. I'm very congested. Yeah, you sound awful. Well, I feel like I can do some phone sex with this voice right now. Not with all that coughing that you're doing. Absolutely not. Uh, what are you? <coughs> yeah, what are you wearing? Um, <coughs> some people find bronchitis sexy. So, I mean, remember when I had bronchitis for like two years? <laughs> yo, you were bagging everybody left and right. They were like, hey, yo, Maya Angelou, what's good? They were like, sir, a word? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm struggling right now. How did you get sick? Um, well, I wear a lot of H&M jackets that don't have no lining. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> so yeah. it's just a paper mache, and it's a, it's like hot and cold. And I'm going back in between. You know, it's going to places that have AC, and then going into my friend's apartment that got like hood heat. It's weird. hood heat. Yeah, where are you going? That has AC. It's it's been warm, but it hasn't been that warm in New York. Uh, H&M. That's where I live. That's where I be. <laughs> the AC is always blasting. It don't matter. Dude, you need to get uh, on that Uniqlo heat tech. I feel like you got to oh. get. I mean, I don't own anything from there, but <laughs> I see. I like, bitch, you don't know. I see the ads for it on the train. You ain't got no damn you in any of your wardrobe. No, absolutely not. <laughs> if I can't find it at the thrift shop, I'm not wearing it. So exactly. I've never seen Uniqlo at the thrift shop. Yeah, I need to get better jackets, but it's about to be hot, and I'm about to have like tank tops. And nipples out, so it's mm-mm, fine. Mm-mm. No, that's not what we're doing this year. Uh, this year, wait, doing, what are we doing? We're doing uh, long silk kimonos this year. I, <laughs> we're doing booty shorts <laughs> and kimonos. Okay, I'll do that, and then I'll also have like some nipple tassels underneath the kimono. Okay, all right. I'm okay. trying to get my burlesque game up. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, do what you need to do, boo boo. Live your best. Slutty life. Shut up. Uh, Marie, were you an expert in anything this this week? Oh, let me tell you what I'm an expert in this week. I don't know if you guys can hear my loud-ass fridge in the background. Let's take a minute to listen. Yep, that's my fridge. Um, so you know how my electricity keeps getting cut off, right? Yeah. It's the man downstairs who's cutting my... He just goes downstairs and flips the switch. So wait, how'd you Jessica Fletcher this? How'd you find out? Well, let me tell you how I did it, okay? Let me tell you how I, uh, Nancy drew this mess. So let him know. Let him know. So he, my power keeps getting cut off around like three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hours that your ass should be asleep. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but he was complaining to my um, super or the dude who like cleans the building. Mm-hmm. He was like, something in that apartment keeps vibrating at like three, four o'clock in the morning and it keeps waking me up. I don't know what it is, it's like a phone or a, like a vibrate, whatever. He doesn't know what it is, but something keeps waking him up at the same time that our power keeps getting cut off. Will you be using the vibrator Nigga, at, at 3 o'clock <laughs> in the morning? I'll be minding my business. Sometimes I'll just be coming in the house. Will you be putting the lavender oil on the pillowcase and we vibrate it? Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> So he changed the, the super, changed the breakers or whatever down there, and it's still happening. So he snitched on himself when he was like, they keep waking me up at three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Marie, you be using the Hasitachi for <laughs> him. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Hitachi. <laughs> Hitachi magic one. Yes, he be using the Mishibushi. <laughs> Missy Bushi. Sydney, you need to stop buying these generic vibrators. That's why you sit. Your whole vagina about to fall off. Shut up. So that's you use the been... Honda Accord of vibrators at 5 a.m., huh? No, nobody is doing anything at that time. My sister gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to the gym. Oh, so it's probably your fucking sister making all that damn noise. No, because she didn't go to the gym today. She woke up. <laughs> she woke up, and then like half an hour later, the power cut off. And you know my roommate, dumb. She just goes downstairs to get it back on. I'm like, 3 Yo. o'clock in the morning? I'm not getting up 
to go down there because what if he's waiting down there with like a bat or Yo, like a like I a need penis? to live here. This is where the this is where the oh, comedy oh, is. At. So let me tell you what I was an expert at. I'm an expert at I'm at war with him. So like I wear heels in my house now and just stump. <laughs> I roll the rug up and just start throwing things at the ground because if you thought we were being loud before when we weren't, I'ma definitely be loud now. Yo, do you be bachata in it? Bachata. Listen, as soon as we finish the, the the podcast, I'm turning all the music up, and we just gonna start dropping bodies. We just start. We gonna start throwing our expert on the ground. <laughs> we're gonna drop down and get your eagle on. I mean, but we got to make sure we record this first because we need electricity to uh, record the podcast. But, like, what's wrong with this this neighbor of yours that he couldn't just come up here and say, hey, y'all be making mad noise at three, four, five, six, seven in the morning? No one is making noise. Don't Nobody be awake. I don't know, but you, we need to figure it out because you need the electricity. Yes, I do. And you, my fridge is still trying to warm up. You hear it? What if you, your neighbor would be like, I don't care if it's four, five, six, seven, eight in the morning, boy, you better call me when you think you're getting on it. I don't know that song. No? Nobody, <laughs> nobody in the room knows that song. That's with uh, that, that uh, what's her name? Soleil? Sola? Solange? And was it Trick Daddy? I don't know that song, Sydney. We don't listen to ratchet, trill music. Oh, my here. God. That's. This guy is crazy. I know. Wait, I know but he is. how terrible is your life that you're going to get up in the middle of the night and actually go downstairs? And exactly. Like, exactly. Like, exactly. Well, at least he's determined. He's got determination. He's a penis, and uh, we going to deal with this uh, like the West Indians that we are. And Because I'm not big enough. Like, if I was a big ass dude, if I was John, if I was my cousin John, mm -hmm. I would just go down there and cut his power off and wait for him to come down and be Who's like, doing that? we got a problem, my man. But I'm not, I'm, we've, sir, is there, is there an issue that we need to resolve? Like, Listen, I'm a lazy troublemaker, so the, I'm not only doing trouble that's convenient for me. I'm not going, putting my shoes, I got to put shoes on? Go mm. all the way downstairs. Yeah, you do. See, I, and you know, there's a fucking draft in the in the basement. Nah, I'm not listen. Doing what that. if the elevator gets stuck, and we just both down there hanging out with the trash and the washing machines? You know what I mean? Like that's I can't. What is the nationality of this man? Uh, he uh, Spanish. Oh, some type of Spanish. But I feel like he's more like a Spaniard, like from Spain. Mm -mm, I feel no, like, no, not that. He's not that. He's like mm, like Puerto Rican or something <laughs> like that. Poor. I don't know any Some Puerto Ricans that's going Cuban. all the way down to the basement and cutting off people's electricity. Puerto Ricans in Flatbush. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> he's so terrible. And he's come up here to yell before. And my roommate called the cops on him once, so he hates us. Oh, so that's why he cut yo, bitch. You yeah, got, no, but you got Jenna cut, called the cops on him after I told her not to. And then I was like, well, if you're going to call him, don't say our room number. And then I heard her go, apartment 3A? And I was like, nigga! Well, that's you couldn't list is. any other letters? Listen, snitches get their electricity cut off. <laughs> that's what that is. You fucking snitching ass, bitch. I mean, this was like last year when she called the cops. He's holding a grudge on that. He mad. Well, I don't know what is in her room that's keeping him up, but there's nothing in my room. Maybe she got the hishihashi. The hitachi? <laughs> the vibrator. I don't know, but listen, I will keep you guys updated on the war, <laughs> the war with 2A. Oh, my God. We on I, the case. We on the case. We thank got you it. so much. Sydney, what is, were you an expert in this week, <laughs> besides um, coughing all over my couch? Uh, being cold and sexy. Having a cold and being sexy. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's really hard to have um, mucus all mm. up and through your nose and still, like, have a low-cut dress on mm -hmm. and, and cocktail waitress, mm -hmm, you know, because mm -hmm. I was at work. On Friday. I mean, the word mucus is ugly. You know what I mean? I feel like there's, the some, word. there's a there's some group of people out there that think mucus is hot. Mm. You know, sperm is mucus. I'm sorry. One more time. Sperm is mucus. So you got sperm in your nose no, right I now. Don't. Don't you, that's why you sick. No, no. Too many dicks in your nose. <laughs> Shut up. No, secretions are, is mucus, is mucus as well. Okay, Sydney. I feel like you. I don't know what Morgan Freeman narrated documentary you watched before you got here, but it, it, anyway, bitch. So yeah, I was at work um, with my cold, sneezing and whatnot, and I was like, listen, I'm gonna do this the natural way. I'm just gonna like sweat it out. I'm gonna work. The cold is going to go away the right way. I'm not going to take any NyQuil or DayQuil or anything like that. So I'm at work. What you're trying to say is you ain't got no money for NyQuil or DayQuil. Yes. Them, them checks didn't come through yet. So, <laughs> so I'm, on a budget. I'm on a budget. So I'm there. You know, I got my dress on. I got my uh, new wig. Just killing it at work. 
and I'm sneezing and coughing on everything. So I go to the table and I got the bottle with the firecracker on top. And I couldn't even hold the bottle right because I'm coughing over my shoulder. Cause I'm I have I'm really considerate. That's what I feel. Like I don't I wouldn't cough in front of people, I cough on the side. So I go down and uh, I get to the table and I'm coughing and I look crazy and I'm I, I wipe my hands off before I start. That's disgusting. Pouring That's drinks. disgusting. I wipe my hands off. I start pouring drinks and I cough again. And then the guy is like, "Listen, I, I think you're real nice, but I, I need another waitress." Yeah, you can't be wiping your hands, your mucusy hands, in the VIP. That's disgusting. He gave me eighty dollars, so he didn't think I was racist. Um, so he didn't think. He was racist or whatever. He was like, listen, let me give you $80 for your troubles. He was like, here's money so you don't touch me or my bottles yes, for the rest of the exactly night. That's exactly what happened. And then, uh, so I still got paid, still had a cold mm-hmm. the whole night, mm-hmm. and I made money. And okay. I still look good. So you were an expert at having asked to go away. Shut up, bitch. And no. get paid for it. No, that's not what it is. I had a cold, but I still remained sexy and I made money. Not sexy enough to stay at that dude's table, though, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So, <laughs> listen, nobody wants uh, titties that got a cold. That's what, I, that's what I've been told. Yeah, keep your secretions and your semen nose <laughs> Shut to up. yourself. Bring that to the regular bar and the poor people who ain't got no money. Speaking of secretions, oh my goodness. <laughs> this guest that we have... Ooh, he <laughs> keeps the panties moist. <laughs> Mo- damp. Damp. <laughs> Very damp. Very. White damp. Ooh, I mean, people have to wear panty liners whenever they're around him. It's crazy. Depends. They got to yeah. wear depends. It's ridiculous. I mean, this guest is a comedian, mm-hmm. also an actor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was on... Uh, HBO's Insecure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He is our light skinned expert. Give it up for Langston Kerman. Yay. Hey. Hey, Hi, Langston. Langston. Panties. Hey. Ooh, moist. Moist. <laughs> I'm going to call it moist. People don't like that word. Why? Do why? Like I think it's moist? good. I don't know why people don't like the word moist. It has an M in it and, an, and like a bunch of vowels. Doesn't Betty Crocker have a moist uh, devil? Super cake? moist. Yeah. Super yeah. moist. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with moist. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I used to get in an argument. I, I had an ex girlfriend who like refused to allow that word around her type shit. She was white. No, I never dated a white woman. Really? Wow. Wait, no. can we have a, just a moment of silence for that? Because that is just just never. Let's add some applause word. or something. Oh yeah, hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Yeah. And the crowd goes wild, <laughs> and the black women go <laughs> wild. <laughs> And the white women die. <laughs> really? You've yeah, never I mean, dated a white girl? I mean, I've been on dates. Oh, oh there's a love motherfucking no, loophole. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you didn't got a hand job where, from a where did you, Summers. Where yeah, did I mean, you? I've, I've had sex with white women. Oh, oh yo, that's God. not been white that bad. How we go from never, never dated, dated to well, I never. penetrated several of girls. Dude, that's Rebecca. not that's not the that same was such thing a light skin comment. I've never I've never taken one to meet my mom. I've never, like, introduced them to my group of friends. It's I mean, to be fair, I never took my white boyfriend to meet my mom either. <laughs> I never had a girl that even made it so far as a boyfriend. In fact, I think I've only either had, like, first dates or one-night stands with white women. I mean, I, I, I think white women like one-night stands. I feel like if you're listening and you feel like I'm wrong, then tweet me. Uh, my, <laughs> my Twitter is just Sid, uh, NYC. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my white friends listen to this, and I have no relation to this woman named Marie Foster. I no rela- I don't. I don't even know who that is. Uh, so, but so, what type of women are you attracted to? Like, what is um, your like? Because you have a girlfriend now, but like, what's your? Yeah, I mean, I like black women. Mm-hmm. I think that's. I mean, that's, you said that uh, like we were supposed to. I mean, like, but wow. she's pretty. Your girlfriend's pretty light. Like, she's you, quite she's light. Like, like you guys could be cousins. All right. First of all, watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can be related. She's quite Second fair all, skin. She yes. is very fair, mm-hmm. uh, and that ain't her fault. That's God's mess up. Oh, don't oh, blame God. it on. Don't <laughs> you call blame it on my God. God is light skin. So my God, don't make mistakes. Jesus got hair like wool. Okay. Right. Nice wool. Not that cheap shit. Oh, whoa. He had hair. 
hair like Marley hair. It was <laughs> wool. Okay? Yeah, they are like uh, quality wool. Wow. Some J. Crew wool. You no. know what I mean? He said not that foxy brown wool. <laughs> he had rain- his head was like he rainbow that wool. Slave wool. They like <laughs> made y'all. You know, they put people Listen, out in the fields. He with had the wool. hair like rainbow wool. Mm. Okay, hey, whatever you want. Thank to say. you. H and M wool. Uh, no, I I've, I think I've dated a pretty wide range of uh, mostly black women. Okay. And, and some Spanish. And uh, have any of them been dark skin? Yeah. Like how dark? How dark is dark? Uh, probably your skin color is is as dark as I've dated. Okay. So okay. Is, is okay, that moist. Thank you, moist. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't. Uh, oh, on purpose. It, it wasn't like a cutoff. It wasn't like I won't go no darker. Oh, you were like she, <laughs> she don't pass the of, paper bag test yeah, or exactly. whatever. Who was who? What celebrity said that? It was like Method Man or something. Was like you know, if, somebody, if you, somebody stupid like Flavor Flav. Something like okay, that. somebody who looked like I a hope burnt he turd. I was about to say that motherfucker is. <laughs> He look like what your poop looks like if you eat a lot of green. Don't you dare <laughs> talk about my fellow dark skinned brother. You and nah, flavor are not the same that's shade. Different, you, that's two different crayons. And, I, and I'm not opposed to that level of black, but he's not maintaining. Don't it you really. talk about my brother uh, like yeah, that? His skin you is all I mean? cracked. I feel like you're supposed to like lotion more often. Right. I feel like you need to use like a shea yourself. and yeah. a cocoa butter at the yeah. same time. Uh, so Langston, how long have you been light skin? Oh, uh, when do you recall that? That's a that's a solid. What's question. your earliest light skin uh, memory? <laughs> <laughs> your earliest light skin memory? As yeah. you all know, uh, most of us come out white. So I started off white. I'm but pretty sure I was brown. I found I'm sure my voice. That I, was brown. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I found my voice about like six weeks in. I would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Your light skin voice? Hell yeah. And okay. What did it sound like? It's just it was just a baby going, girl. Yes. Oh my god. I feel like light skinned dudes are always whining or crying Mm -hmm. about something. See, and I think that's an ugly dark skinned (laughs) propaganda. Wow, ugly and dark skin? Okay, so... <laughs> that you all have proliferated wow. for the sake of, of attacking uh. our grace and beauty. No. Wow. Yeah, that's an ugly thing that people are like, ah, light-skinned people are always in their feelings. There's nothing we can do that y'all wouldn't say we're in our feelings about. If I was like, nah, I don't I don't eat uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. light skin. here we go. Yes. <laughs> here we go. Yes. You think you better than me. It's like, yes. no, I just don't want fucking goofy-ass we, cinnamon. We well, started the podcast at 11. Well, you, we told you to get here at 11. Uh-huh. What time did you get here? 11.02. Yeah. That was so light skin. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. if you were dark skin, you would have came in at 11.30. We were expecting you at 11.42. No. Yes, we were. Why? Because <laughs> that's what time a I black person would have I got plans. Well, here's, here's something about the, the light skin taste buds that I noticed mm-hmm. just this morning <laughs> is we all, I had three hard-boiled eggs, mm-hmm. and we all ate them. Sydney and I put Laurie's Miss Dash, Lord Dobo. <laughs> On top of and salt. And salt. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Langston ate his egg with nothing on it. He ate the shell. I, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. You had a bare <laughs> boiled, hard boiled egg. Hard, yeah. It was bare. It was delicious. It was no naked. seasoning. It was God naked. made that. We, I don't gotta fix it. No, GMOs made that egg. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Seriously. God and science came together to make a delightful <laughs> product that I don't have to, I didn't need to fix it. Here's a question about you as a child. Mm-hmm. Did you, were you born with like baby hairs? Like very. Yeah, like, I had a full head of hair. Yeah, can we, uh, can you remove your hat? We just want to see the oh, my texture hair is, of I'm, your. I'm having to grow my hair for a part. So oh. oh, look at that. Pl- plug that. Plug it. you like, uh-huh. so I've been working. I'm a working actor. So. <laughs> I am, I'm getting money now. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see your hair is giving me Bobby Bell. Valentino vibes. Yes, it oh, is. Well, that's... Slow down. <laughs> I just want to get to know you. Now, he's not light-skinned, but he gives me light-skinned man vibes. I had a, uh, I had a, a teacher. Mm-hmm. He was he was a poetry teacher. Of course. Uh, of you course. look like you do uh, spoken word. I, I see it. Spoken word. Uh, I, I grew see up it. doing yeah. spoken word. Uh-huh. Uh, again, I'm the expert. Okay. Light-skinned okay. 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 is my brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't light, it ain't, it ain't right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I am not just the owner. I am also <laughs> a subscriber. Okay. I, uh, no, uh, what you call? I had a, a, a poetry teacher, sort of. He was a mentor, I guess, more. But you had he, a poetry uh, mentor? He used to call me uh, Randy DeBarge. <laughs> he said I look like the one of the members that nobody's heard of from yeah. the DeBarge company. I feel like that. I see the it. way that your yeah. hairline is, like, laid right now. Well, that's just because I need a haircut. No, it's very, like. Let's not draw attention to my. No, I'm not no, saying it's good. Worst part. I'm not saying that that's bad. It, your hair is your worst part? 
Right now, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. If that's the worst part, get the fuck out of I don't even want to see the rest. Yeah. Woo. Hey, Let me see your feet. Am, Moist. Bro. Oh, no, but my feet are fucked up. Too. Nah, I feel like light skinned dudes got like nice feet. Like, you could tell their toenails are not dark. Oh, no, I got I got a couple weird dark toenails. Really? Yeah. Is it the pinky toe? No, it's the uh, the one right next to it. The <laughs> one next to it. I don't know what we call that. Is that the ring? The ring, the <laughs> <Your> ring toe. <laughs> <laughs> Does one get engaged? And Listen, then that sounds like a that? dark skin problem. But, well, uh, no. What it is is uh, is I, I play a lot of sports. Okay, and mm. so my my feet have taken damage. You look like a la resulte. Do you, you like soccer? Or no, football? you. I'm, see, I'm seeing basketball. lacrosse. Really? really, I've never played. You lacrosse. don't play no fucking basketball. <laughs> I can hoop. What position you play? <laughs> Point guard. <laughs> Point guard. <laughs> he said I can hoop. That was very light skin of you. <laughs> no, I can I hoop. Play. Okay, I, here's a le- legit. I, this this is actually a probably help prove your point okay. but, uh, I, I I was a, a practice player for the girls basketball team <laughs> at, in college and I went to a D1 school they were good ladies they, they were, they were good ladies here's my follow up question mm-hmm. to you about that you should have kept that to yourself no nah, uh, listen <laughs> I got free gear and everything here's a way to test your uh, hoop knowledge as a light skinned yeah. man what kind of shoes are you wearing to play basketball in yeah. what kind of shoes I feel like you're yeah. wearing a van I do not wear vans <laughs> <laughs> or a, con- a chuck Taylor. <laughs> I do not wear Vans or a Charles Taylor. To, uh, what are you wearing to play basketball? I, I have some uh, all red KDs that I like to wear. Okay. Kevin Durant. Yes. Oh, I like KD. I was like, to. Can you see my face? I was like, yes. they were both like. Mm. No, I know what the kids because I got it's hood kids in my building. I know KDs. I was like, is that the new K Swiss? Like, what? <laughs> I wear my uh, K Swiss. K Swiss two thousand. Shut up, Marie. I hate you. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, okay. So yeah, you wear some, Kevin Durant. Some, some Durant. Uh, not a like. New Balance. I, sometimes I feel like on your off days you'd wear. I don't a wear New, new balance. balance. I've never worn a New Balance. Wow. And plus now New Balances align themselves with the devil. I can't do that. I feel like people who wear New Balance also drink Pepsi. So that's wow. out. That's out. You drink Pepsi, you get slapped on United flights and you like it. I ain't. <laughs> you work for United. <laughs> I deserve that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Please take my seat. I'll stand for six hours. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, so I feel. Wait, yeah, y'all are really trying to pull my black card. And no, 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 no. I want shit. you to take us through your like childhood. Like, t- can you tell us about your family? Are you the lightest in your family? Mm-hmm. Is your mom uh, light? Dad light? Well, my my father's white. That's how this. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. A, uh, it, it be that said? Yeah. So we didn't even need to go to like ancestry.com. dot com. No, 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 no. Your He's dad's a, white. He's a uh, Jewish man. Your Kermit. dad is Jewish? Yeah. Get the F out of here. Big Get the matzo Jewish. ball out of here. Are yeah. you serious? <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> wow. But that doesn't make you... Oh, your mom has to be Jewish for you to be Jewish. Well, I think uh, it's more of just if that's what you're raised with and practicing. My dad's an atheist. Like religiously, oh. so, no. I didn't so he's not anything. wearing like the little Jewish fitted. No, <laughs> yes, that's what they prefer to be right. called. I know uh, the Jewish little frisbee, fit. the little frisbee hat. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Do, yeah. They also like the that frisbee fitted. <laughs> 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 the frisbee fitted. The saucer. He didn't want a little saucer no, on he, top. I didn't. I wasn't raised with much uh, religious background. So Although didn't. most of my family practices, like my extended family, mm-hmm. and so like I would go to like family events mm-hmm. and they'd be singing like Hanukkah songs and I'm just like sitting in the back like ha ha yeah it's fun you're like wait are you an atheist no I, be- I believe in in a higher power oh, that was very light skin quite light oh I, be- I no, believe in a light skinned god <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my God. I cannot shut emphasize up. that. My enough. God, my God. He, he dark. Okay. Your, no, God, I, your God is dark? My God would get stopped and frisked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't want that for my God. I don't know why you would want that for he's, your God. He's everywhere and nowhere at the uh, same let time. Let me tell you what my God would be doing. Uh, he's summering in the Hamptons. That's what. Well, right. your, and your God is white. Yeah, your, your God at like best. Your is God skin. summers? <laughs> okay. Black people don't summer. <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> You're right. only proving me right. Yeah, that, I don't know what, what she don't speak for the podcast. <laughs> she don't speak for S and M. I'm a little sick, so so she uh, she confused. So your father was Jewish. Do you have siblings? I do. I'm the oldest of five. Wow, wow. your mom and dad was getting it in. No, they weren't. My 
my uh, I, I have a very messy family. Oh, okay. so you got a side family? Do tell. No, not so much side family. Both my parents have been married three times. Both of them? That's Both six. Of them. Yeah. Since you've been alive, Shit. or like uh, the o- only one of my my dad's spouses was pre me. Uh, oh, okay. And then the rest of them. Oh, so pre you. Pre, I was like a pre me. No. Why are we telling me? He come on, a, Sydney. Come on, Sydney. He married <laughs> a uh, malnourished baby. <laughs> and, like, uh, on life support. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God she made it. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, he he was married once before me, and then he married my mom. Okay, so let's let's yeah. let's break down the, the parental units because they led to the beigeness that you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, your dad. What does he do? Is he a good looking dude? I, he used to have his day. Okay, yeah. I, I well, never wanted to. Well, smash. listen, <laughs> because they say like mixed people are like the better looking. I'm not here. I listen. I'm not here to make that judgment. Uh, yes, Cindy. I'm also not here to co-sign to that. No, no, no. I'm just saying what is, Who is out that? there. Well, I think I think the reason people get excited people. about mixed people is yeah. because we we blend uh, into something that people don't necessarily see in the the standard races mm-hmm. but it's not always a good mix you get no it's just like you get best of the both worlds like yeah you get the big maybe. lips and the light skin right well the, i the, i don't that's know some, i'm that's not some here social construct shit yeah where people are like light skin equals beauty no I I, I, this is a, listen i don't date light skin men i'm like, just i'm just, <laughs> protecting, <laughs> just no i'm you, protecting my you're not, you're not even on my radar langston okay <laughs> right. if i was to go back to dick it, it would not be any of this <laughs> let's not just start here but that's some place you would consider. Uh, Don't do that. Uh, listen, listen. <laughs> if Sydney had on panties right now, they would be dry. <laughs> right. <laughs> they oh, would be dry. This, no. you, look, light skinned niggas shamwow my pussy all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay? Shamwow. Wait, open. Like Sydney, the, the, your pussy aside for a moment. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> your father, good looking Jewish man, yeah. uh, he must have some money that he not spending, I'm assuming. No, he actually, uh, well, he comes from money. Okay, there it is. But he is my dad's a socialist. Like he bailed on his family and like moved to California to like To be with your mom. No, to study like the worst not the worst, but the, the most absurd version of politics at the time, mm. which was socialism. Mm. And like committed to that and like rejected like my dad would my grandfather talks about it all the time, but he said my dad was like the smartest of his kids that had the most potential. Every one of his kids besides my father is a doctor. Oh. And my dad like went on to like just work on like, you know, socialism and like he out there smoking weed. He's shit. smoking weed and fixing laptops. Not anymore, but he probably was at the time. He doing mushrooms out there. Uh, yeah. So wait, I wanna know how your dad bagged your mom then. Yeah, because so so- socialist doesn't sound sexy to me. He then moved to uh to Detroit. Uh huh. Ah, that's where your mom's from. My, so, yeah, my mom's see, your from dad the west was out of Detroit. Your dad was hey. like, you know what? Let me take you out of this bad place. <laughs> Come with me. Come with me, darling. Yeah, you met her in Detroit. <laughs> hey, and, Neil. Uh, they they got it. Where did he Going. meet your mother in Detroit? At a at a gym. My mom was also interested in socialism. Oh, at the that's time. beautiful. What is that's just such a love See, story right there. Beautiful. Yeah, it was nice. I like that. It's and beautiful for her, Chicago, not really for him. And they made a baby. And that baby was you. And that was me. And I'm the only of uh the that pair. Mm-hmm. I'm the only kid from that pair. And oh. So then, you know, I had two sisters later that my mom from my mom's second marriage. Mm-hmm. Uh and then my mom got divorced from that dude. And in that meantime, my father and his third wife mm-hmm. adopted a son Whoa. who is my my brother, who's below my two sisters. Is he, right. is he white, black, mixed? Asian? Uh, he, we don't know exactly what he is. Oh. He's, he's <laughs> like some version of black and... Okay. Oh, okay. And, Other. Uh, not good looking. Ugly as hell. Oh, wait, wow. wait, hold uh, on. Not cute like, Langston, then, come yeah, on. I think he's no. Ugly. <laughs> no. And I hope he's listening. Do you have a photo? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a photo? What's your brother's name? Yeah, but I don't want to shoot because then y'all going to be like, this nigga ugly. No. no. You call him would, ugly. He might be I cute. Did, but I'm upset you know, that you said that. Now, okay, so you, got, so you got some sisters in your lives. How they look? My they sisters? Look like? did, mm-hmm. did it look like They're you? very dark skinned. Oh, so None what that mean? None of us look alike. Okay. So like, they're all, they're full black. Yeah. Okay. I'm the only. So they're better uh, looking than you. You're the okay, only mistake in photos. <laughs> you have photos of them. <laughs> Show us those two queens. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you thought I was gonna be like, yeah, yeah, they way more beautiful than me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so your brother is not ugly. I Come on, Sydney. Let me see. Sydney, let me. I don't like skin. his face. Sydney, he's, well, uh, he's, his face is not me. for you. You know who he looks like. Uh, like, he's not ugly like oh. Julian he actually Williams. kind of looks like you you had a lot of nerve he looks like Julian Williams like Neil the, and his hair is all full Neil did you want to see uh, she don't want to see <laughs> he's not man. ugly he's not ugly no. at all he, well, so he gonna grow into his face and watch he gonna see, bag that's, your girl that's you already apologizing he gonna, stay, for he gonna take your girl <laughs> he gonna grow into his face and beat your light skin ass <laughs> and you gonna be legit black he's and attractive? blue yeah, see he's she cute. said he's attractive just because he ain't on insecure like you, nigga, that don't mean that he can't thrive. And he never will be with that face. That's what I'm saying. What are you talking about? You Season know what? eight, they're going to say, no, thank you. Your face Listen, um, grosses Can me you out. send us that photo? Because we're going to post that on the unofficial expert. He's 17. Uh, no. He's 17? Yeah. He's a good he's looking a kid. grown. No, he looks like he's 17 yeah, to he me. He looks young. That looks like he's at a high school football yeah. practice. He, Listen. He, he doesn't play sports, but he was probably... Oh, he'd just be hanging out there? He'd be yeah, like, can he, I get your coat? He's like <laughs> in the middle of figuring out... Uh, he like got into a few schools and is like mm-hmm. figuring out what he's going to do and mm-hmm. like literally can't make a decision because he has no motivation... You trying to say that that's yeah, how Lexi, you, you, you trying to say the hardcore? Hold on, yeah, I'm not a fan. Hold on one minute. You trying to say that he's like that because his skin is darker than yours? No. <laughs> uh, although good, good I think question, you need to Marie. do some self reflection. <laughs> good question, Marie. <laughs> I like not, that. That's what you saying. But you were like, no. So, well, it sounds like you want to be a mentor to your brother a little I bit. I don't. We've uh, literally not spoken in years. Why? Oh. What happened? Let's, uh, let's, let's I, get again, into that. Again, my family is messy. and uh, the, the, Yeah, but the kids don't need to be involved in all that. Right. Well, that's the problem is that the adults in, involved oftentimes make decisions for kids that make it a lot more difficult for the kids to maintain relationships. But that's the one that was adopted. Yeah. So my, my father's third wife, his current wife, is his mother, and she and I never got along when I was oh. and She worked very hard to keep us like separate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And separate so when, but equal. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, me. This being is some better. light skin <laughs> drama. This is very deep. This is a right, light skin well, telenovela. Yeah. Langston, where did you go? Again, to this s- was my argument from the beginning that y'all were going to turn this into some light skin. No. Shit. no. When in Listen. fact, when in fact, this is just a black ass story of like bunch of people with That's like true. fucked up relationships. You're right. I, I agree with and you. And y'all, you like, nah, this yeah, but is what different is his, than his I mom, Yeah, this sounds different. It sounds like light skin. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, t- the way I you're presenting it. Mm-mm. It's like, just me talking and you like, yeah, your voice. It might just be because your voice is so beige. You know right, what I mean? See? Like your voice sounds light. Like just I feel like you let me live. break out in a spoken <laughs> word like brother to the night. To I probably the do have a poem about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. So you did spoken word in college. Mm-hmm. Do you have I any? Did, I did poetry. poetry. High school Where did you go college. to college? University of Michigan. And then okay. I, I went and got a master's degree in poetry at Boston University. Because you were like, you know what? But I'm so confident in my light skintedness that I will get a job <laughs> with his master's degree in, in poetry. Words. Yeah. Like, what? Wait, okay. <laughs> you went to school with my girlfriend, actually. At Michigan, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. When she first, when she saw you immediately, she, she was like, "Yeah." She was like, uh, "Doesn't he do poetry?" Yeah. I was like, "No, he's a comedian." She, okay, listen, she was I'm gonna, not... She was going to get fought. In front of you and all your friends. You, you was gonna, gonna fight her? You gonna hit a woman? You gonna snitch on me? I gotta do what I gotta do. That sounds very dark skin of you. Risk I gotta take. Yeah, but now is it snitching? I mean, you doubled down and went to school for poetry twice. So like, that's what you right. went. That's what you were passionate about at some point. Yeah, so no, why is that snitching on you? It. But I was at a comedy show. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut the fuck up and enjoy the laughs. Do you remember any of the poems that you did in college or high school or anything? Like anything? off the top of my yeah, head. Yeah, the top of your for convenience sake, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you can't that hit us. You can't hit us with a couple stanzas. No. Just what, a what, who am I to can be you like? Give me a yeah, high of course, I remember. No. Can you give I me a haiku? Remember shit. I would love a haiku. Give me five haiku. five words. I don't even do that. What kind of poetry did you do? It was a lot of. Uh, I actually don't think it's that different than my comedy. It it just was sad. So it's like a lot of like you know based in like true stories and experiences. So it was like, like Drake exactly it's good poetry. Thank right. you, Sydney. So Thank Drake, you so much. Drake has Drake. his uh, his hype songs, the ones that we play in the club, and mm-hmm. then he's got his Marvin's rooms. Oh. Marvin's mm-hmm. room was what I was writing poetry for. You were writing a lot of. If you're and, reading this, you know, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get it. Yeah, no, I was listening to some of that last night. Oh my um, okay, so what made you decide poetry is where you wanted to be? Uh. I, I I had a teacher in high school who was a our like poetry instructor, mm-hmm. 
And uh, he just, he made me feel uh, for the first time in school, like any of this shit mattered. You know what I mean? Wow. Like I was always a good student, but I didn't give a fuck. This is so deep. I'm a deep Sydney, dude. Sydney, do you have? Do you remember any of your teachers from high school? No, I don't. Okay. We're still I think like I had. I think I had a Mrs. Chang. I had a Mrs. Chang. She was math, science. Jesus. She was science. Jesus. You see, I said math or science, and she was one of the things that I said. I had a uh, Miss Vega, and she was Jim. You remember your gym teacher? Yes. You remember yeah, your right. gym teacher? Who remembers their gym teacher? <laughs> that's where I was thriving. <laughs> that's a damn Actually, lie. I don't remember my that's where I was a star. Okay. Mr. Ledbetter. He was cool. <laughs> Ledbetter? Mr. Ledbetter. Mr. Bedwetter? That's crazy. <laughs> he was cool. He, used to, he was a baseball coach, and he, you could tell he just smoked weed every day and chilled. Ledbetter. So wait, cool. you said you were, a good, you were a good kid, but you just didn't give a fuck. I just didn't have, I mean, I think we all go through that where we're not motivated yeah. for any particular reason mm. in poetry. I, I played ball through high school. I'm still having trouble seeing that. Do you yeah. have, do you have a year <laughs> book? Do you got a yearbook <laughs> photo or something? <laughs> I can't even see you in a jersey, my man. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel you. like your jersey had a collar. <laughs> 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 Your jersey had a pocket square, okay? Like, uh, I, just I don't want to be on this podcast no more. Y'all, don't, y'all don't respect me. No, we do. No, honestly, you said like you were like a, a good guy, but a bad guy. So I were you like, were what? you were you popular? I nothing about good guys and bad. I guys. also didn't she hear you say that. Stuff. Were you a popular kid in school? Uh, I was well liked. Mm. If that makes sense, like, like everybody knew me, everybody liked me. I wouldn't say I was. I wasn't like the dude you hit up to go out mm. necessarily. But you were but like when we were like if something was happening, uh-huh. I was there. You know, what you I mean? were there. I feel like you're the type of dude that nobody knows he's getting hoes, but you were getting hoes. I was. I had a girlfriend. Mm. Uh, I, I've always been like a serial monogamist. Oh, I guess. God. So you see, that's, we going right. back to the I mean, like, so fucking but I feel like, like, What do you want me to do? I am. On, I am wh- who and what? Give I me am. some DM- DMX. Sydney. Sydney. He, he's not. DMX is dark skin. Uh, <laughs> this, that's not what this, this is. This nigga here. speaks in barks. Okay. I, I speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a light skin DMX though? Like, no. dear wizard. Uh, no, you know? that's not how. That, but that's again. I feel like y'all don't understand who light skin men are. That's not okay, how we so move. Okay, so tell us who tell light skin men are. That's not how we move. How do Drake, y'all move? Drake at at his Drakest, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Is doing foul shit. He's he's but he's a diva about it. He's not DMX. What is Drake DMX doing that's saves, foul? No, he's come on, saving he's out strippers here. and strip clubs. Hold no, on, Sydney. Let's not let's, saving let's anybody. see what Drake sings about saving them. But in reality, he just fucked them one time and made them feel like they were special. You don't think that Drake is an emotional ass dude? Absolutely, but he he's emotional in retrospect, not in action. Mm. I don't think that he's actually like cuddling with these women. I think he. Is. I think I think that he is. No, I, I think, think he's he's cuddling. I think he's absolutely cuddling. <laughs> I don't think that he's cuddling and believing this is forever. I think he cuddles. He was and then dating he knows he's Malia leave. forever. Malia, Malia, who like still twerks on Instagram yeah, and has that, like tummy teeth. That teeth. was years like, ago. Okay, I don't know Drake's uh, dating history. I just feel like if I ever met Drake, yeah. he would probably weep. Like Drake don't seem like somebody uh, who you, cries. Yeah, he seems like somebody mind. who weeps. Like no. you like, like his shoulders be shaking <laughs> and his words be like, I, no. I, 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 I just. Drake, Drake is out here smashing, grabbing, and then making sad love songs. About no, I and think that Drake. He does. I think Drake cries at least twice a day. Drake is like uh, if if uh, a Casey and JoJo song became a person. No, definitely <laughs> no. not. <because laughs> if a Casey and JoJo song my life, but then we're gonna go do some cocaine. <laughs> no, no, Drake don't do no drugs. Yeah, in my mind, uh, you're clean, crazy. Clean All he does body. is rap about smoking and, and yes, 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 yes. But Drake is a liar. Mollies. He's the one that like pays for the weed for everybody. Right. He doesn't. And actually then he's like, do the weed. "Are you guys having again, a good time?" Again, dark <laughs> skin, guys. dark skin would, propaganda. Would you guys like some refreshments? <laughs> This is all propaganda. The man literally tells us what he does, and all y'all can do is reimagine him. People as can fucking say whatever Mr. they Belvedere. want. No, people can say whatever they want, but the Drake that I see, that you with, see. The, with the Jewish mother that he got, mm-hmm. he's not who you think he is. Nah. Listen, his sweat, I, his sweatpants, his sweatpants and sweatshirt outfits, the, his line, his yeah, clothing, bummy. Line, they're not bummy. He's bummy. No. They, oh, I feel like Jesus he's got a Christ. cashmere blend in some of them gray sweatpants. No, Dr- no Drake is pretty bum. bummy. Drake dress is pretty terrible, he's but that's, the white, that's the white man in him. Well, how you feel about that? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. I won't fight that at all. Okay, thank you. <laughs> he's comfortable, though. 
Uh, yes, he's comfortable. Is he, he's comfortable, but he seems like the type of person that when he goes out, he's like, I don't know. Everyone's looking at me. No, see, that, again, you don't get it. You're no. you out here selling your own shit. Mm-mm. You out here selling magic beans, and the nigga already got plants. <laughs> Listen, he already got a tree growing in no, his backyard. Drake is the type of dude that have sex with you, and he'll say sorry when he comes. <laughs> He ain't gonna apologize. I'm so sorry. sorry. Drake definitely (laughs) apologizes. Don't apologize to y'all. Let me let me me get you a towel. (laughs) Jesus Christ. You want a hot towel, a cold (laughs) towel? (laughs) (laughs) Don't bring out tea after he fuck you. (laughs) Would you like chamomile or mint? On a tray though. (laughs) On a tray. This is absurd. Tea in bed. (laughs) Listen, speaking of absurd, let's talk about something that I feel like it affects black folks in general. Hell yeah. Uh, This is some. I pulled up some statistics. Okay. Um, statistically, I like how you pronounced it. Thank you. Statistics. <laughs> uh, statistically, dark skin actors mm-hmm. are eighty percent more likely to play a criminal. Nice. Than a light skin actor. Uh, how you feel about that? How do I feel about yeah, it? Yeah. Do you think that that's a real stat or something that I might have just made well, up right now? Here, here's a good way to uh, to approach this conversation. Mm-hmm. I recently was uh, put in an audition mm-hmm. for a drug dealer, and I didn't believe it's it. It's not happening. So, <laughs> I don't even like, believe it. I don't even see you with a do-rag on. Well, that's, I can't, my, I couldn't, that's my point. Was I can't like, see they were you like, with a do-rag. Yeah, so you're going to play like this dude's brother who's a drug dealer, real like hardcore guy in the streets. Everybody knows and respects him. No. I'm like, no, I'm not. No. What are you talking not with about? Them Lashes. Right. Okay. <laughs> Agreed. See, she, she wanna fuck. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you lying. Listen. Listen. Yes. Sydney. Well, wait, Sydney, do you or do you not want to though? <laughs> no. <laughs> Langston, can you take that? I'm back for I a friend. I will not. And what I hope that all your white you? podcast listeners. <laughs> You're heard such me. a brute. <laughs> You're a fucking brute. See? Langston. <laughs> I can't imagine you in a do rag either, though. I used to wear do. I used to have braids. I had braids. Oh, you wait, wait. I had braids multiple wait, times in my were life. Were you like Shamar Moore in fucking? No, <laughs> no. I didn't have a braid wig. <laughs> You had a cornrow lace front. You had a lace front corn. I had actual braids. How long were your braids? Oh, they went down to here. Wow. He pointed to his uh, chest, ladies and gentlemen. That's pointed to his chest. Absolutely. Just above the nipple. Just a bunch of the (laughs) It was a different time. I'm sure you look like a lunch lady. It was a different time in America. We were we were in the middle of uh, the tall teens. The war on terror. Mm Mm-hmm. And Uh, baggy. B two K was very hot at the time. So you look like Queen Latifah's little brother sister. So I see it. Did you have the facial hair with the braids? No. I couldn't grow facial hair at the time. I was thriving. Is castor oil on your face right now? What's happening? Oh, right. This, no, this is real. This is, this is real. I just, you know. You prayed on it. At some point, uh, you become a man and uh, <laughs> your, your body changes. What do you I'm want me to say? I'm still not over there. You said I want to fuck. How dare you? Cindy, <laughs> Cindy we don't have enough time in the podcast to talk to you about <laughs> right. your vagina right now. But my question for you is, so you did this audition. What roles do you normally go out for? Because I feel like you play like the love interest. I probably. get a lot of the love interest. Right. I've had to uh, push back against, uh, because of Insecure, I've had to push back against uh like uh, ambiguously gay guy. You know uh, what I mean? Like now, once you give them the green light to be like, ah, I might be able to play this, then they're like, okay, anytime. There's a so, motherfucker that so like kind of is a little bit on the. Spe- wait, can we can we spe- can we backtrack a little bit yeah. and tell people what you're talking about? Yes, because not everybody uh, watched the show. Just in case, oh, not everybody well, has if HBO. You don't watch, uh, not everybody has HBO. If you don't watch Insecure, uh, I, I played a character who named had Jared. A, named Jared, who had a sexual experience with a man in his past. One time. One time. One time. <laughs> Two <laughs> times. People were asking three times. <laughs> yes. Wait. Okay. Explain. Like just the setup. Up, what happened? Like you guys were hooking up. He was hanging out with a girl. Mm-hmm. They were fucking and sucking. Yeah, having mm-hmm. a good time. Mm-hmm. And yes. then at one point, he admits that. Uh, well, she prefaces it by saying that she had a sexual experience with a woman. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, I've had an experience like that too. One time, my boy gave me head, and I didn't like it. But that's that." Yeah. 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 Well, uh, Langston, do you, in real life, do you think a lot of guys go through that, like in an early age where? You, they I think far more than I, I, uh, I, you or I know. 
Mm, yeah, because okay. nobody's. I think there's plenty of dudes then, that we know that probably have had that experience and never talk felt about comfortable it. talking. And you know about what fucked it? Now the show is like, well, I was going to tell this girl that I got my dick sucked once, <laughs> but, I did, but I'm right. never doing that because well, I don't want to be Jared from Enterprise just was, losing out. I think what's out. interesting is how many people reach out to me and are just like, yo, your character is mad relatable. And they don't necessarily even like pinpoint like because of the sexual stuff, mm-hmm. but a part of me believes that that's like a big portion of it because mm-hmm. like that's you know that's a real thing that mm-hmm. happens that people go through, and especially in the black community, we're so like sheltered and closed off. We're like, man, nigga, you can't right. And it, sometimes we it's just like are gay or we're not right in this in our world. And it's like and there's so, middle. There's right. a, there could be there's a middle. Listen, shit. if honestly, if that was me and my boyfriend was like, uh, my friend gave me head one time. I I don't think that I could overlook that either. Like, I, I feel most like black women I meet. Can. I feel like that's something you just you keep that to yourself. Don't tell me that. Just hold it. Hold it in your. I think I've only met like two of people that like I've had this conversation with. Mm-hmm. They were like, no, nah, I could. It, you know. I mean, get over it. Sydney, I see could the, you? I see the things that guys do to get their dick sucked. So if yeah, the, they ran out of options and a guy sucked their dick, I, I guess you you're cool with that. I, I mean, it's just a dick suck. That's it. It's just <laughs> one. <laughs> There's a couple of times that I've done it. And I was like, I, I wasn't even do that. Didn't, I didn't really. Do that. <laughs> that, that, wouldn't that wouldn't count. count. Yeah, that, one, that, that wouldn't mean. That didn't count. <laughs> that was the first time I did. I was like, so this was just a prelude. This wasn't the real thing. Yeah, so. yeah that, that stuff was like fake. Yeah. So uh, how has being that character then like changed your like acting life or your your life as a performer then? Oh, it's improved it. I mean, you know, I I have to a certain extent a fan base now. Yes, you do. You did our show and and um, you had the fans. They were there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They you you said I'm from Brooklyn and the bitch was like where where, <laughs> where? like exact address. Yeah. Like, I had to keep yeah, that I, I have like real uh, supporters and mm-hmm. that didn't exist before and you know I I've now have to make like other choices as far as like what I am and am not willing to do but it was beautiful Insecure is dope yeah, yeah. and it, it was, was great dope. and when yeah. I saw you on the show I was like look at Langston light skin ass on this show mm-hmm. doing well you were great you Thank were such you. a I was like you I, were great and then you took off your shirt and I was like Woo! <laughs> I didn't even care about your shirt. I actually, honestly, I didn't care about your body. Yeah, I did see your nipples, and I, I was they're like, big nipples. Yeah, I was like, wow, was not. I'm very surprised. Sydney is definitely DTF. D- see? <laughs> I told you. D- That's all I'm saying. D-F. I'm not saying we are gonna fuck. I'm just saying she's down to fuck. No, that's, all, that's my only. Point. That is an L I E. She's trying to pretend as if like, oh, you, your skin disgusts. <laughs> your, it does. Your translucent skin. I uh, listen. Yeah. Like, no. I saw your areolas and I was like, wow, they're bigger than mine. Yeah, they're big nipples. <laughs> I, I, I don't even remember seeing your nipples. I work out I work out a, a lot and try to work on it. There's no way to fix your nipples. There's no way to make them <laughs> There's not like a There's cream. no machine. There's no uh, machine at the gym. I got a doctor for, for you. For taut nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. Too funny. Is I, there anything about being a light skinned dude that you feel like is a misconception that you would like to like fight? Uh, well, I, I think uh, I think our challenge mm. as a, as a light skinned community mm-hmm. is making peace with the the awful propaganda that's been uh, spread about us. Mm. Can you stop throwing that word propaganda in there, <laughs> nigga? This, this is are facts. Okay, These are facts. Y'all are a little lies. bit more sensitive than us. Yes. Well, again. A little that, bit. Here's the challenge. This is where it becomes difficult. Okay. Is because light skinned men tend to make two choices. Okay. They either lean into it hard, mm-hmm. as I have done, and <laughs> just accept that like it's gonna be some dumb shit said about you being sensitive, even if you're not being sensitive. Okay. That just is what it is. Mm-hmm. Or they do the opposite and you take like a, a Matt Barnes approach and you just turn into a goddamn like yeah, maniac. Yeah, Matt Barnes. And like Ooh. violent, like aggressive person to overcome. Um, the perception of what did Ma- I don't know what Matt Barnes did. What did Matt Barnes do? He once he- choked out Derek Fisher for his when for he his was ex- coaching in the NBA uh, for fucking his ex wife. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. But I- he's that dude on the court. He's that dude off the court. He's like he's like real. heavily tattooed. He's yeah. very Chris Brownish. But he's very. A, he's mm, a, also light skinned and angry. Yeah. But he also has <laughs> the beautiful greasy hair that you every <laughs> light skinned man should. No, have. it looks very oily. Right. He's, he's, he's doing, greasy it's, and curly. It's, I, I would wish. It's it. not I wish curly. I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> he should I shave it all off. It looked like oil. Yeah. 
like yeah. oil spill be on his head. I like it. it no. Mm-mm. No. The I'm point not. Is, canola oil all up and through. <laughs> it don't it's, even look like olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> it's canola. We are <laughs> we're like all fighting ass. against or or accepting the position that society has offered us. I'm comfortable with where I am in society. This is it. Okay, so when it when the revolution starts, what side are you gonna fight for? Uh the the light the skin. Winning side. Which one of y'all win? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the dark skin folks because <laughs> we've got more rage than y'all. Yeah, not statistically, yeah, <laughs> not that many of y'all. Y'all gotta, uh, <laughs> y'all better rethink your alignments. Come on, man, come on. Even dark skin Indian people turn on y'all. That's not gonna work. Well, that's because a lot of people who are black, if they're like a little bit light, they're like, well, we're not really black, like, uh, like Dominicans and Cubans yeah. Well, your value is based on color in a lot of those other countries all so over uh, the world. But you yeah. travel all over the world now, right? You're doing I'm shows doing kind of old. Traveling. You are. I mean, you're out and about. You got your shredded jeans on and you stuff. You got out. your knees out. Letting the wind. Come I feel in. like we haven't even we haven't even critiqued the the outfit uh, that our light skin outfit, cool uh, outfit expert put on. He is right. wearing a denim shirt, That's which is right. cute. It's a black V neck. Is that a no? A it's a just a regular. It's a regular crew. He's wearing a black fitted jean. Both knees out. Yeah. Both knees. both knees out. What kind of shoes are, are you going to cross? You going to cross your legs now? Yeah, I'm they were crossed earlier. Good. And these what? are these are Vans. These are Vans. I but actually they look like, like these. Sneakers. I like these. No, <laughs> I don't like them. If I feel what? you're <laughs> no, <laughs> you're giving me like white man that might own a boat. Uh, vibes. I deserve to own a boat. And see, that's your problem. You don't believe in yourself enough to own a yeah, boat. Yeah, but you <laughs> <laughs> I believe I have that opportunity. <laughs> Nigga, I be on boats. I get boats. Yeah, but you don't own that shit. I don't, I don't, I don't need to. A boat is a lot trapped, of work. You trapped in your work. mind. I don't want a boat, okay? Mm-hmm. That's Master a lot P, of work. Master P told us that you need to own a, your product. No. You out here riding. I'm gonna, I'm you own a house. <laughs> you you renting and riding. You yin yang twins on I'm going to own a house. I'm going to own a horse. <laughs> I'm gonna get a house and a horse. So okay? then currently, let's just run through what we own just for, for fun. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what do you own? <laughs> what do you own? Ten thousand dollars worth of titties. <laughs> <laughs> do those go up in value? <laughs> <laughs> Because I think you are <laughs> overestimating. <laughs> That's what you paid for titties. Uh, no, that they're like bonds, you know, okay. like they each year. Sure. They increase. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like titties are like a car. Once you drive them off the Y'all lot. Oh, no. The once they're off the lot. Bitch, them over here. Unless, yeah. unless you using them to get on these yachts that uh, you're talking about. Listen, sorry. I didn't get my car from Enterprise, so <laughs> my titties are just fine. You know a Do Lamborghini it? loses value, too, as soon as it's off the lot. This, this is not a car, all right? <laughs> 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 this is like a very uh, international uh, moped. This okay. is like a moped. Sure. Yo. Okay, I anyway, can't. we got questions for your light skin ass. Hell yeah. Um we want to see if you truly are the light skin expert. I am. Okay. Uh Marie, what's your first question? Uh can you name three light skin actors? Three who are light skin killing actors. the game. Yes, yeah. killing the game. Killing it right now? Yeah, because you can't just name a couple beige people mm, who, who ain't doing a good nothing. Question. <laughs> uh we got my girl Tandy. Uh, Tandy Newton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's killing it. She yeah. was the mother in Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, uh, a Is classic. she really light skinned? Oh, stop she's it. She's quite light. light. She's very light. Yeah, she light. And she's very good and very talented. She plays a terrible mother all the time, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she really got that, like, sophisticated crackhead down. Like, she <laughs> plays it quite well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh Let's go Tracy Ellis Ross. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, yes. Love yes, her. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Big fan. She's outstanding. She's great. Still with Smash. And uh was another fun one. <laughs> I mean, you, you got your classic Shamar Moore. We talked about that he earlier. He is not killing any kind of game. He is still he's, on he's like still MCI working. W S squared, whatever. <laughs> he's he's still, I'm rolling. I mean, my no eyes. one is no one is checking for Nobody Shamar, but at he all. is still working. He's still working. But and he gave us two women, so I'm he's here for got that. like airbrush abs on. I can't. Are those airbrush? <laughs> <laughs> like I kind of like, hope so. Like, like I'm about to go get me I can stop working. <laughs> I can stop working so hard for these start mediocre eating. abs. He's like, he's like, I can start putting salt on my eggs. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> get you some tummy tees in your life. Get you a waist you trainer. Flat, I, I want to be one of those girls that advertise on my <laughs> That's my dream. Get your life right. Um, flat tummy tee. <laughs> 
Okay, we're going to give you four points for that because you gave us three names. Okay. <laughs> so so um, I'm going to hit you with some lyrics. So mm. You got to figure out which light-skinned rapper it is. It okay. can either be... You're going to give him the oh, names? I have options. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, you why? Know, Just see if he's not going to know them first and then... No, they're, these are from randoms. They're not from like uh, popular songs. Benzino. <laughs> <laughs> it's either uh, J. Cole, okay. Joe Button, or Drake. Okay. Okay. All right. I think you're running from love with me. You got to face it. Are you guarding your heart from a nigga that always breaks it? Oh, okay. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that ain't Drake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's not him. You're well versed in the Drake well-versed verse. Well versed in Drizzy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh,. It feels basic, mm. <laughs> which, which is J. Cole for sure. Like he's a basic dude who mm-hmm. says some woke shit. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense, I hear what you're saying. Uh, so that it, it has J. Cole vibes, mm-hmm. 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 but I don't I don't really fuck with buttons. So I I'm tempted to say buttons in protection. Buttons. Yes, it is buttons. <laughs> that was a beautiful analysis, did you nigga. See that light skin. <laughs> did you see that? Okay. Yeah, I'll break it down. I got another one for you. Okay, go oh, ahead. You're so good, Langston. Mm-hmm. I hate you. <laughs> oh, that's your dream car, nigga. That's my old whip. Oh, that's your dream girl, nigga. That's my old bitch. <laughs> oh, that's that's J Cole. It is. Yeah. <laughs> See, Wait, basic. Oh my god! But then he say some shit where you like, oh, well, you're like, you oh, you a good father figure, I think. Exactly. Right? No, you. That's you. See, he says something, and you're like, let me sit down and, yeah. and ponder right. that, really. Yeah. Okay, wait, moment. wait, one more, okay. one more. Nah, I don't do the pickup lines. I give her the number to the chauffeur with a pickup time. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was a good last one. Right, 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 right. That was a good last one. Listen, I was over here researching. <laughs> okay. That that feels like uh it could be swaggy Drake, mm-hmm. but not mm, mm. I, I feel like that would be too uh too on the nose, if you will. <laughs> uh we will, we will. I'm gonna go ahead and say buttons again. Yo, you are such a cheater. <laughs> I didn't you know see anything. That's I didn't see buttons. anything. Yes. I just know these artists. Wow. Except yeah. Joe I don't you listen got to Joe all of them. Dude, you fucking nailed this. Thank you. Wow. Marie. Wait, let me get Marie. Can I give you a lyric and see if you can pick? Yes, yes, yes. Give it to me. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be able to do it. Okay. I'm probably not. She ain't light skin woke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm, I'm basic, and then I sometimes say some woke stuff. Yeah. I'm dark okay. and woke. Uh, I heard you got a man, but who in their right mind letting you out the house alone? Oh. Oh. Mm. Well, I, that sounds mean, one. Right? <laughs> that sounds See? mean. <laughs> See? Because, like, it, it, but she, we ain't, I'm in my feelings. I didn't address what the lyrics spoke yes, to. But I'm a woman. It's not has nothing <laughs> yeah. to do with me being a dark skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a female. I'm like, why would you well, say that to her? <laughs> So, can I hear the, the 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 lyric one more time? I heard you got a man. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> you, nigga, you need a lifeline. No, no, no. Come on, come, come, come read it again. You need a lifeline. Come line. read it again. Come or on, come 50, on. 50. What part of the song is that? Is that, is that the chorus? <laughs> it's the bridge. <laughs> it's the bridge. I heard you got a man, but who in their right mind letting you out the house alone? Mm, I'm just gonna guess Drake because it hasn't been Drake yet. No, that's not Drake. No, it's J Cole. Ah, uh, well, I don't See, know. You know how it's not Drake? It's because Drake would just tell you he gonna steal your girl. He ain't gonna talk to you about stealing you. That's mm, some J Cole shit. Okay, okay. Drake talks to men and says, "I'm a, I'm gonna steal your girl, and I'm, I'm a." Continue to smile and sing about it. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your girl. Right. Really? He talks to men? Yeah. Jay Cole talks to girls. This is a Drake line. God knows it. Your mind impure. So I possess. He knows it. Anointed and protected. I was chosen. My heart is it away too frozen to get broken. See, but that, that now. See, that sounds now like. Now he a, ain't talking about stealing. He's just talking about praising. <laughs> yes. It. That feels like some Drake shit. <laughs> wow. Drake and Kirk Franklin and the family. I see it. I would say that sounds like a chance lyric. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Chance loves some Jesus music. Interesting. Jesus. Wow. wow. All right. Well, Langston, Langston, I guess you really are the light skin. You really crushed it. Oh, man. Let's, let's clap it up. Clap yeah. it up for Langston. His large area. Wait, wait, wait. We got to snap for him because that's the poetry. Hey. Clap. 
Gang, gang. Langston, uh, before we go, do you have anything uh, coming up? Where can people see you? Yeah, plug all your stuff. You gonna be yeah. out in the sun this summer or nah? Because uh, I know you gotta keep that glow. I, I like a, I like a little crisp. Oh like wait, wait. What, speaking about glow, what's your SPF? What do you use? Oh, I was gonna really ask an SPF question uh, too. You don't use SPF? No, not really. As a light skip man, I don't own it. You got the knees out and just you just. I mean, I also wow. don't just chill on the beach, so. Mm. I'm, I'm, you got uh, your boat hat on, so like you, that's what you'd be wearing. This is a dad hat? <laughs> it is, it's definitely a father hat. Right. <laughs> it's a soccer dad hat. Soccer dad. <laughs> Come on, Connor. Get that ball, boy. Uh, uh, you just find me on Instagram and Twitter, at Langston Kerman, and uh, every Tuesday at uh, Dizzy's on 5th at the Fancy Show. At the Fancy that's a, Show. It's a great show. It's, it's a so fun show. Fun. Yeah. What uh? What what bomb ass? What's your what's your dream role as an actor, as a light skin actor? Oh. Mm-hmm. I just I, I want to be funny. I just want to be funny. You want to be the funny friend, the funny lead. Funny lead. I like funny lead. You don't want to be Kevin Hart lead though, do you? I don't ever want to get as big as Kevin. I think. Really? No, that seems scary. Mm, that a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I think you lose control of uh, your brand. Mm-hmm. Like he's he's in full control of his brand, but he's lost control of what he can and cannot focus on mm-hmm. I think, to a certain extent because he's always branding. Yeah. And that doesn't seem he's fun. always on too. Yeah. It seems like I'd always. rather have like a moment where I could just be like, I'm taking the train the today. And yeah. Like it doesn't ruin your life. kind of. Yeah. Thing. He's on think. Instagram and he literally is on it all day because he's, um, he's probably getting paid for it. He's on Snapchat. He's like he's going on vacations with his wife and kids mm-hmm. and he's on it the whole time. Well, he gets like, paid a lot of money for yeah. Twitter and mm-hmm. yeah. Snapchat and, yeah. and all that shit. Totes get it. Totes get it. Yeah. So, funny lead. Okay. Yeah. So, you so you want to be Shamar Moore. That's what you want. Yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be Shamar Moore? I get it. <laughs> Put those braids back on. Yeah. That motherfucker's Can funny. You just Throw it. that wig back on. That was, was hilarious. His, the biggest comedy he ever did, he, he ever did was um, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Yeah, for he, sure. He Best comedy ever. and squinted. <laughs> did, didn't he, did he beat some lady up? Or he was the no, dude that saved her? He was the saver. <sighs> and, while having a Drew Hill bandana on. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you want. Uh, Langston, just as a like a, a bonus question, can you name all four members of Drew Hill? There were five members. Okay, of well, Drew can you name all five of them? Because I thought it was four. I, <laughs> I thought uh, it was four. I, I don't think I can. I know there's uh, there's Nokio. Yes. Mm-hmm. Angie Martinez's baby daddy. Uh, I didn't, I didn't know even that. know that. Mm-hmm. How'd you get that info? Because I used to listen to her when she was talking about it. Um, Damn, I don't think I can. It was Nokio, yeah. Cisco. Jazzy. Jazz, that was Jazz. Jazz. I thought it was, was four five, members. All of photos is members. four of them. No, members. maybe there was a new. Remember no, there was it's, a new Drew? Four, it's four members of Drew Hill. There's no, a, yes, it's a fat one and then the two skinny ones and then one with blonde hair. <laughs> two skinny ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought they were fine. Wasn't there a new member too? Yeah, I thought they added somebody. They added somebody. Uh, well, that don't count. <laughs> I know why it's called Drew Hill. Why? why? Because it's named after a, a park in Baltimore that they used to hang out at. Wow, that's really boring. Oh, there's, that's, there's nothing to that like, at all. Like Lincoln Park. So yeah. what's up with the here, here are the names. It's Cisco, Nokia, Ta- Tao. Tao. Yes, I would never. Jazz. 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 I knew Jazz. I knew Nokia. I knew. Yeah, we didn't know Cisco. Tao. So how did they get into all this like uh, Unleash the Dragon and shit? That has nothing to do well, with Well, they didn't product. do that. That was Cisco. Unleash the Dragon. Yeah. Cisco but They let the shortest nigga with the blondest hair be like, let me pick the name. All right, what? but wait he was a minute. The Beyonce Cisco, of the there group. was nobody hotter than Cisco at, at the in, time. In seventh grade for me. But the thing is, is that. Yeah. That, that red leather suit. Woo! Come on. He was doing. He had his belly button out, and I didn't care. He had a Kids. star tattooed on the belly button. Kids thought he was cool. But he had the nipples pierced. Uh, adults I don't know. were like, "Yo, my mom was keep bumping him away Unleashed from all of our kids." Too. <laughs> we were all listening to Unleash the Dragon. In my Without house. you, girl, my life. See, you can still sing. That wasn't even the first record. <laughs> Cisco's real name is Mark Andrews. Oh, oh so geez. basic. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Okay. Listen, you can catch me in Sydney live. At the unofficial expert at the Wild Project on May seventh at seven p.m. At seven p.m. It's going to be all the way lit. Uh, we're going to have uh, maybe Langston might be there. I mean, he might be hey. out thriving as a light skinned person, so we don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can catch me at Reezy on Instagram R E E E Z Y, and then Sydney. 
Uh, you can catch me at Just Sid BW. So that's J U S T S Y D. BW. We in these streets, baby. Uh, make sure you tune into uh, Insecure on HBO. Uh, yes. Go and just watch all of Langston's uh, scenes. Yes, and also go on iTunes and make sure you uh, write a review, uh, rate, uh, like, share, like, do all that shit so people know who we are. So we out here, okay? Share this podcast with your dark skin and your light skin friends. Mm-hmm. But probably is, not your white friends this episode. This is a podcast for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Langston's uh, a younger brother. Yeah. Anyway, he thank you so listen. thank you so much for listening. Yes. Can you say one nice thing about your brother before we go? Um he's got he's got uh, solid teeth. <laughs> You're an <laughs> asshole. Solid as a rock. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. And I just want to let you know <laughs> that I'm not DTF, okay? Sydney, mm. <laughs> I got condoms here. You. <laughs> <laughs> you got the free ones, though. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>